The Primate of South Sudan, Archbishop Justin Badi Arama, has been playing a key role in peace negotiations in his war-torn country, leading negotiations on behalf of the churches and faith communities. Archbishop Justin visited the Anglican Communion Office in London last week and we asked what he thought about the prospects for the latest peace deal. Over the weekend, the parties have attended renewed talks led by the Intergovernmental Authority on Development, or EGAD, in the hope of reaching agreement on the remaining areas of dispute following the signing of the recently negotiated agreement. But Archbishop Justin said the Church is looking for peace on the ground, rather than signatures on paper. So we are grateful to EGAD and all the regional bodies for the effort they are doing to bring peace and stability back to South Sudan. And we very much appreciate the recent development in the signing of uh, the agreements in Khartoum. But as a church, we do believe that uh, peace is not something on paper. Peace is a practical reality on the ground, which does not just come up with the signing of papers. And uh, our own assessment as the church in South Sudan is that there is much to do to bring the political will amongst the leaders so that truth is said and then there is a true reconciliation and the forgiveness that will give room for a real peace in South Sudan. But otherwise, political peace on paper is what we are doubting. Yeah, we are very optimistic that uh, if we take the line of truth, saying the truth, talking the truth, then uh, that will happen. But if we continue just uh, to uh, put a mask of politics, then uh, everything will just end up on paper. The current peace deal is the latest in a long line of agreements between the parties, causing suspicion in South Sudan that this will lead, yet again, to more unrest. The people of South Sudan actually are doubting because uh, since from the start of the peace uh, we learned our lesson as South Sudanese uh, in 2016 after the signing of peace which was without political will then again there was much violence. That's why we are doubting this time some of the parties have put their signature and some are doubting that really creates a real doubt within the hearts of uh, all South Sudanese. Though we do understand that uh, some of the parties are being forced to sign, but uh, that is not a solution. As the talks continue, it is clear that all Anglicans need to continue to pray for the peace in South Sudan.